Today's episode of The Read Pile is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash nerdupmedia. Over 150,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. I'm Elle. Your turn. And you are uncomfortably close to me. And I am the frightened Sussman, Rick Sussman. And you are watching The Read Pile, Halloween edition, I guess. It's the week of October 28th, and here are some comic book news you can use. Grumpy Cat has a, has a Sinestro variant cover this week. I like That's it. That's adorable. All right. I want to see who dresses up as <laughs> Who's going to be Sinestro Grumpy Cat for Halloween? Oh my god, if they can pull that off, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> so, aside from that, there was some news. Um, oh. Empire, Is it really? Not for us, because we've yeah. covered it before. Empire Magazine released the first full-body image of L. Joker. Um, Jared Leto Joker. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> In defense of Jared Leto. No, he doesn't get any. I can't stand those tattoos. I just, I thought he was going to be a good Joker pick. I thought going with the Batman Dark Knight Returns style, the green hair, the white skin, it was weird, but I could, I could get used to it. And then, like, the first batch of tattoos showed up from when he's grabbing his head, and I'm like, man, these are really bad, and, and like, I don't get a lot of them. But you know what? I had enough time to process it, and I said, okay, well, that's just our Joker now. Fine, whatever. And then they released this image, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, alright, he's got some crazy, like, purple, like, like, crocodile trench coat. Alright, that's a little weird, but uh, that's not the end of the world. He's wearing a pair of Arkham Asylum pants, because he apparently busted out of Arkham. He's got a pimp cane. That one's a little odd. And then... The thing that kind of reels me out, as opposed to reels me in, two more new tattoos. One, another Cheshire Cat smile on his belly, because I guess his, his belly button is laughing at you. And then what appears to be the word Joker, tattooed like people would get thug or, you know, like baller or something tattooed on him. I don't know, like, just in case that nobody knows who he is. Yeah. I don't know. D never he, mind. He, the he J on such his a face. Crappy version of it. They're just trying to remind you, this is Joker. No, really, it's the Joker. This like, did you know it's the Joker? It's the Joker, it's the Joker. yeah. Version. Have you heard it's the Joker? This is now, this leads me to wonder one thing. In the Suicide Squad, I'm sorry, in the Joker movie featuring the Suicide Squad, yes. will Harley Quinn have a tattoo on her stomach that says Harley? Or will it say Quinn? Or will it also say Joker, perhaps? <laughs> All I can say is that I'm so glad that so far for, like, Halloween pictures that I've seen, nobody's trying to attempt to dress up as him. And I hope it stays that way. <laughs> <laughs> There's always going to be people who want to be the most recent Joker. I think it's cute that at least girls are, are like, okay, hey, Harley Quinn, it's another version. I'm going to try to top this off. And at least they're doing a really awesome job at it, the ones I've seen. Yeah. And, but thank you. Thank you for, I have not seen a single picture of anybody trying to pull this crap off, and I hope, I hope that I don't see it, because <laughs> I just, I can't take any more pictures of this crap, it's just, <laughs> oh my god, it's like they're trying too hard, it's like, it's like somebody that knows nothing about the Joker character whatsoever, went to somebody and said, hey, can you just make me a checkoff list of things about him? No, don't tell me about him. <laughs> I just want you to tell me, like, the big things, like, a descriptive list, like, uh, okay, oh, I don't know, no, like, a purple jacket, and he, uh, Arkham Asylum's related to him, and he, he has green hair. And white skin. Uh, uh, he looks very pasty-like. Yeah, yeah, he's got and, white skin. Um, uh, yeah, he's crazy, man. And then somebody's like, oh, he's crazy, he's like, this because the only crazy fucking people have tattoos, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> so it, it's they're char they, they, they oh my god, it's just so frustrating. I just such a rant. Mm. Plus you cursed again. Uh, I wanna punch him in the face. <laughs> I spit a little. Sorry. <laughs> 
it's time to review, review some comics. Let's go. Time for comic book reviews. I'm going to start with the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. Issue one. Yes, it's issue one. Here's a bunch of issue ones now. <laughs> and guess what? They make they make a joke about it. <laughs> Squirrel Girl. <laughs> they even say it right out the cover. It's only the second number one so far this year. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> well, I was wondering if there's gonna be any change in the feel of the whole story, but I like it. It's to me, it doesn't feel like an, an issue number one, but I'm sure anybody that wants to kind of jump in, I guess they could. I mean, I, I think you could probably jump in at any point, or you could have jumped in at any point and still enjoy it. It's not like it's really a hard story to follow, <laughs> but it's entertaining. It is. It is a good story. It's. I think it's supposed to be lighthearted. It's supposed to be comical. Uh, you even have jokes from Deadpool without him actually showing up. <laughs> and if you like Harley Quinn from the DC Universe, then I think you would probably like her. You know, it's, it's more of an innocent version of her, but the comedy and they poke fun at their own characters in the universe, so and so on. And it's fun. And this issue, the reason this issue in particular is so hilarious is the fact that her mom shows up for visitation. <laughs> and she's had to introduce her roommate to her mom now. So it's awkward and childhood stories are told and well some brain in a jar for a head shows up and that's interesting. <laughs> But I'm very, very happy that it's still just as good, and I will, of course, continue to read. Next up, Grayson. Oh, Grayson, number 13. You are back in spiral. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I was so excited when he was back in Gotham, and I was like, oh, he's back. He may be able to stay in Gotham return and things go back to normal and no no he's going back but not alone he's definitely he has his help if you're not already reading sorry not it's not this is not a spoiler he's got his team working with him back in Gotham so he is still trying to get into spirals see what's really going on see if maybe he could take them down because he doesn't like being messed with and they all need to come down. Well, in the meantime, we're starting to figure out some crazy things that are going down. Like, Helena, uh, what's your secrets that are going on? That's kind of freaky. Uh, we need to find out what's going on there. <laughs> so, I don't know. I want to be so upset because I just want to back in Gotham and I want things to go back to normal and I want Bruce Wayne to be Batman and everything to be perfect again. But I'm, I am just a whiny, whiny girl. <laughs> Moving on. Pick of the week. Oh. <laughs> Black magic. Oh, Greg. <laughs> oh, Greg. We're going first name here. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> I wanted to hate you. I really did. I really wanted to hate you and say, you know what? You love for no reason. You suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is really good. <laughs> uh, so, okay. I'll be honest. I, I've, I've started issues before. I'm like, oh man, this is just like lagging on. This is ridiculous. Let's just, let's, let's get to it. Come on, let's get to it. Okay, first couple pages, you kind of feel like that a little bit. You're like, oh, I don't know if I'm really like this. And then bam, it's interrupted. <laughs> so this detective, 
pretty much the idea of the story is the detective has a real part of her that she keeps hidden, I guess, essentially. Um, and, well, she is broken away from it in the beginning of the issue, and she has to go back to work. She's called in, some guys got hostages, and he is asking for her in particular. And guess what? It's all because of who she really is. Crazy stuff, and what she has to do to this guy is insane. <laughs> feel so bad for him. <sighs> I am really digging this whole idea. The whole idea of the story. Witchcraft, whatever it is that's going on. I I just like it. I love the whole style of the writing. You know, they, they throw you into what her real world is and who she really is. They rip her, rip you away just as she's being ripped away from it because she's got to go back to work. And now you're starting to figure out like how it's really affecting her and what's and you're just you're just getting the like the tiptoe in about what could really be going on. <sighs> that was pretty quick to suck me in and I think I might love you for that, Greg. Thank you. <laughs> in the meantime, I guess we'll talk to her again. So I guess L is a sucker for Greg Rucka as well. Hello? I don't have the sound effects for crickets. Oh, so painful. Uh, I had a read pile as well, and I actually have an umbrage. I have an issue. I have a problem. I very much enjoy Munchkin. We know this. I also very much enjoy that at the end of every Munchkin issue, there is a Munchkin card that I can add to my Munchkin collection because I am a big Munchkin guy. Well, I don't know what in the blue hell a Munchkin treasure hunt treasure is, but this is the card that was included in this week's issue of Munchkin. Now, in fairness, it is a plus six bonus that you use one time your old comic collection. Uh, evidently, you get a plus six bonus for having an old comic collection. I, I, that's cute. Um, oh, I don't know about that. That's it's a bit, it's a bit, bit disconcerting. The comic remains hilarious, and if you are a Munchkin fan, you definitely want to pick it up. Um, but if I'm honest, I, I was picking this up for twofold. One, I enjoy the comedy, and two, um. As L could probably protest to, I am amazing at Munchkin, and I like having more cards that make my game even more um, OP, and she does not enjoy that. So crushing her makes my life easier. Um, we don't play anymore. She doesn't play. Let's move on. They're not like us. Issue 9. The subtitle here says The Party Line. I'm sure it's up here right now. It might as well be subtitled, And Things Got Real. Um, so, the whole time that we've been reading They're Not Like Us, we knew there were like one or two other people out there that had these crazy powers and abilities, not unlike the teenagers or what have you, that we met in uh, the first eight issues of the book. Well, there's a lot more out there, as to be expected. Um, in a world where anything is possible, I suppose more than one group of people would have powers and abilities. No kid. Um, so we meet a lot of these people, and lo and behold, they are not overwhelmingly excited by Sid and her group of friends. And In fact, her group of friends may be the jerks of this universe, or perhaps they're the heroes. We don't really know yet, because we only have seen this one little section of our uh, world. Um, I am greatly enjoying this book. It is super awesome, and I cannot recommend it enough. Like I originally said, it, it's, like, it's like Gen 13, it's like X-Men, it's like any... Teen, teen Team Superhero book outside of Teen Titans. Um, well, maybe the 80s Teen Titans where there was actually, like, turmoil. Um, if you want to check this out, you should because it fits that, that, that itch of early, like, 90s X-Men um, that I really loved as well. Moving on. Oh, my God. Rumble! Rumble, 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 rumble! The 
Halloween edition, no less. How adorable is that? They actually did a Halloween version of Rumble. Um, how do I... Okay. 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 We are now to the point in Rumble where the characters are starting to gray out. What we thought were evil, monstrous demons may not be so evil and monstrous. Yes, they are demons, and yes, they you know, are from a, a hell dimension, but perhaps they're not bad creatures. Maybe they're just demons. There are people in this world that are not good nor bad. They just sort of are. And in Rumble, we are now getting to the point in the story where just because you're a demon from hell doesn't necessarily mean that you're a bad creature and that you mean to do bad things. In fact, we even discussed this whole scenario in the previous issue of Rumble, where there was a demon that was protecting a village, and the people considered the demon their god. But um, Rathrock, whose name I'll never pronounce right, but it's awesome, um, maybe we'll get a video on how to pronounce a name right, like Meredith Finch recently posted on the Read Piles Twitter. <coughs> L. Thank you! <laughs> um on how to pronounce uh, our hero's name correctly. But more to the point, we're seeing the continuation of the story and we're building this world. And you know what? Maybe just because you're a demon doesn't necessarily make you an evil person. But it is now time for our pick of the week. Let's spin up the graphic. All right, here we are. It's back. It's back and for a limited time. It's Chew! This was the special Easter edition. It actually says, and I'm quoting here, uh, do not read before Easter. Well, I did. <laughs> um, I, uh, I am really excited and really saddened that this is the end of Chew. Um, we have, I guess, maybe five, six, ten more issues maximum. We know it can, it's going to go to at least issue 60. Perhaps Lehman has a plan um, that we're going to go even longer than that. But I have to be honest. Um, the story here wasn't what made it my pick of the week purely by itself. No, in fact, there is a cameo in here of people that you may know. Three blonde, spiky-haired kids, uh, one boy, uh, two girls, the youngest girl wearing a blue onesie because she is a baby, and she has a pacifier in her mouth. Give up. First of all, Chew was back. It was probably always going to be my pick of the week. Second of all, there's cameos from the Simpsons kids. I am happier than a pig in crap. This is fabulous. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for being my pick of the week. For you, our loyal followers of The Read Pile, we have an awesome offer from Audible.com. Audible is offering a free audiobook download with a free 30-day trial to give you the opportunity to check out their awesome service. You can download some really great books like The Hobbit, the unabridged version from Tolkien. You can download Divergent, Lean In, lots of great stuff to check out. To download your free audiobook today, go to audibletrial.com slash nerdupmedia. Again, that's audibletrial.com slash nerdupmedia for your free audiobook. Best this week for the read pile. Yeah. Okay. All right. You didn't even give me a chance to say my joke before you immediately got... Am I so obvious? No, um, I, I've learned how to calm myself down now. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, <laughs> we would want to give a shout-out to our brethren, our Nerd Up Media friends, uh, Galvin Leatherworks. Um, we attended the uh, wonderful Bohemian wedding. They got uh, hitched. Uh Charlie and, and his now wife, uh, Rebecca, they are, they're married now. Um, yeah! I don't know if you knew this about me. We all knew I was the sus man, but did you know I was also the best man? For one day. All right. You know, uh, you could have just let me have that. I'm bringing it down. <laughs> There's no need for this. <laughs> anyway. Oh. <laughs> My spine. Um, well, the, uh, the folks at Galvin Leather, oh god, with the uncomfortable closeness again. Alright, you know what? Thanks, guys. We, oh! Send help. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs>
nice as I do. <laughs> you know what? That's plenty.